This is the uh, next little update on my router build. Uh, as you can see, I've got a piece of uh, melamine coated MDF on top of it for the table board now. I also have some uh, locators mounted on there right now for locating my zero zero. And um, I still have to drill holes to put hold downs in but I'm going to wait till the router is running and use that to drill the holes. Uh, I put a little piece of trim board across the front and a couple pieces down the ends of it too to kind of help keep the sawdust from rolling over into the bearings. On the router itself I'm working on a dust collection set up for it now. I've got the clear plastic shield started. I still have to find some brushes that go on it. Then there's going to be a loop of hose that comes out of there and goes down to the side that's mounted on the side of it. That'll eventually go to a dust collector. Now for the uh, Z motor I decided to go with one of those low cost stepping motors from Amazon. Kind of stuck right now though because they didn't ship the pulley that I ordered with it. So that pulley turned out that they're shipping it from Hong Kong. So I only I should be here within the next month, but you never know. I wish I told you that kind of stuff when you ordered it online. Okay, all the wires are in. Um, all the router wires are pulled through the cable raceway and whatnot. And got my emergency power off button finally came from Amazon so that's all mounted and working now I also have built a little bit better shelf to hold my keyboards and monitor and whatnot and brought in my John Deere stool but I need two keyboards because I'm running uh, the one computer down here that's running the uh, table. And then I have another computer sitting here that's running the uh, programming software and the internet for when I need that. Because you really can't run internet or network connections on Mach 3. For the uh, speed control for the router, what I did is I just bought one of those little cheap Harbor Freight boxes to start out. And um, it seems to work pretty good. And then what I've done is I've actually cut into the uh, cord on it. Cut the cord and placed a solid state relay in line there so I can turn it on and off with the uh, computer in the g-code when I'm cutting so I don't have to leave that running all the time so I'll just have to remember to set the speed correctly yeah I took that relay and I actually mounted on a quarter inch thick aluminum plate and then I got a uh, plastic cover that's gonna go over it and make a little box out of it that I just mount up out of the way now the electrical box is all finished up now too all the wiring is done um, I wound up mounting that stepper driver on the side instead of down on the heat sink where I was going to mount the other gecko drive. But it turned out that the gecko drive would have cost me twice as much by the time I bought another encoder. So I uh, figured I'd try one of these just for the Z because it's really not going to be moving that much or that fast. It should be able to keep up with everything else easy. It's such a light load. So the wiring is all done. Um, everything's basically ready to go now. I'm just waiting for the pulley, like I said, from Hong Kong. Yep, all the cables are all right through. They're all filled. Um, everything's moving smoothly. Okay, I'll just show you how everything's going to be running on this. I'm going to hit ref while home. And as you can see, that top motor is turning, but it's not doing anything because of the missing belt. So I'll just hit the home switch. Now, it's heading for the zero, zero position. Goes to Y. 
And there's the X. So now we are home. So I've got all that cycle working out pretty good. Okay, now I'm just going to start a little bit of G-code for a sign that's going to be my first project. Uh, you can pretty much see uh, it's just going to take a little bit more fine tuning to uh, get the motors tuned right. That's kind of a pain, but when you once you get it right, they'll be great. And I'm just waiting for that last little timing belt pulley for the Z drive, and then I'll be up and running. And should post a video of it making my first sign. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.